So I'm gonna record this over because I forgot to say some stuff. What's up? My name is Renisha. Welcome to Renisha Space. Over here, I let others fly over the mic while making. This is me trying to do the. It's not the whoa. This is the whoa. I don't know. But anyway, I let others fly over the mic while making social media. My pulpit. All I want to do is encourage you to be everything God has called you to be, even when others don't agree, baby. So I just recorded this, but then I forgot some stuff, so I'm gonna record it over. Okay. So last night I released a video. That well, that was already in my phone that was an old video i think i recorded that last week or the week before last right talking about different recurring dreams and stuff like that i've been having okay wednesday so tuesday night which would be wednesday morning technically it was wednesday morning um i woke up from a dream extreme food shortage right and this is why i wanted to record it over technically we've been in a food shortage since last year i don't know if you all pay attention we've been in a food shortage since last year okay so this was a, an extreme food shortage it was i think it was me my mama and my brother in a dream it seemed like my mama had a baby maybe that was my brother's baby girl i don't know but anyway we were in this grocery store packed all of the owls open long lines i'm talking about to the door packed right so my mom had a buggy i had a buggy i don't know if she made it to the car but her buggy had her stuff in the car and came back in or what but I went to another line to pay for something else and I don't know what I was going to buy but I told her to stand by my buggy right both of my buggies were packed the shortage was so bad people were stealing entire carts my cart got stolen whole buggies I'm not talking about I need some bread so I'm just snatch it off when you're walking by I'm talking about people were stealing people's whole how are you gonna steal my whole cart first of all I'm gonna shoot you I shouldn't have said that man I hope I don't get YouTube I was just playing it was a dream okay so people were stealing people's whole buggies right it was horrible so I remember after realizing my buggy was stolen I woke up fine so I'm like oh my god food shortage I already knew that so most of you you probably been hearing this from different people just make sure you're stocking up on you know toilet paper um it's different for every, it's different for everybody water oh i thought that was a bug about to fly in my car paper towel paper towel sanitary stuff soap body wash all of that stuff you need for your kids whatever specifically ask the lord if there is anything that he wants you to buy in particular like i don't know if it was last year or earlier this year there was a certain soup that he showed me. I don't know if it was a dream or a vision, but he showed me the specific soup to stock up on. Okay, so you all need to talk to him, ask him, is there something specific that you want me to stock up on as far as food? I remember, I think it was Hurricane Matthew. When Hurricane Matthew came in, so many people months before were prophesying the same thing food shortage stock up on water da 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 blackout different people were prophesying it some people listened other people thought we was crazy and then hurricane matthew hit let me tell you when i had my water i can't remember what month i bought the water but i had the water stocked up in my what's the room called where the i guess where the washer and dryer would be but i didn't have a washer and dryer in my house whatever that room is called um, it's not a laundry room though. It was something else. It was like a big thing that was in there, but whatever. So I had the water there and I remember looking at the date and the water expired like in December, but I had bought it early that le that year. And I was like, God, this thing just expires December 31st. Like, what if I stocked up on that this water and you told me not to touch it and then it expires? Like, what am I gonna do, baby? When I tell you Matthew hit, I can't remember the date, but y'all can look it up. And see when Hurricane Matthew, I think that's the name of it, hit South Carolina. But I had so much stocked up with canned goods, water, candles, flashlights, that I didn't have to do all of that. Or did I have candles and not flashlights? Because I remember going to the store to get flashlights. But I feel like I already had flashlights. Maybe I didn't. But I had the food and the water so much so too. I think my mama was at my house. Can't remember if my brother was there or if he was living somewhere else. But... I was able to get on social media and say, hey, if you know any elderly people that can't get out and need food or water, I can, you know, if they're in this area, I can walk it to them. I can't remember if 
the pro it was just bad but i was like if they're in a certain distance i can just put it in my book bag put it on my back and i'll walk it and take it to their house i had enough to share why because i listened to the lord no matter what other people thought no matter how crazy they thought i was period so you can believe this or not i'm not the first one that has said it okay um also like i said we were already in a food shortage if you pay attention okay this is why and the lord has been on me for months upon months upon months about stopping eating stopping the consumption of meat i'm not trying to make anybody do what i'm doing i would go on and off i would do good with with my seafood and then next thing I, and i'm not even a meat eater y'all I don't even have to have me, but I've been doing it on and off, and the Lord has been on me and on me and on me, and people have been prophesying it, and people, and the Lord has been on me, and I'll stop and start. Let me tell you something. I've started back. I can't tell you what to do, but this is my thing. Certain restaurants I've been going to. And this is, I'm talking about way back, the end of last year, fall, fall, winter. And y'all telling me at certain restaurants, well, there's a shortage on this, we don't have it. There's a shortage on this, we don't have it. But then other restaurants got it. And then y'all don't have it. And now I'm sitting here thinking in my mind, because you know, I overthink stuff. I'm like, well, how come you have it, but you don't? How is that possible? Now, if there's a shortage, where you getting this food from? What are y'all feeding us? And I've been questioning that for a while. What are y'all feeding this? I believe, and I hope this video doesn't get taken down, that some of this meat and other foods is not even real. Or mixed with something else, but I'm going to leave it like that. I don't trust it at all. I don't trust it at all. Um... Yeah, I don't I don't trust it. Now you can do what you want to do. But as far as me, once again I have vowed. Let me get let me go and get off of it. I'ma eat my fish, my scrimps, my crab legs. Unless Lord tell me not to eat that too. But this beef, this chicken, turkey. I can't do it. Um, so yeah, take that and do what you will with it. I'm about to go get some fish right now. And what else? Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. But I had to come back because I didn't want anybody to be like, oh, we already in a food shortage. This isn't prophetic. That's why I wanted to come back and say, technically, we've been in a shortage since last year. But I saw an extreme shortage. And I believe that is it. Again, a reminder, if you can, buy land, dig wells, get your own water, grow your own food. Don't be trusting these fruits and vegetables. I want to find an Asian market, but um, it's just so much. But yeah, love y'all. Peace to the Middle East. Make sure to like, what, comment, what, subscribe, what. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we lit over here. And I'm about to go get my food. Okay. Bye, y'all.